Hey everyone, this is CLR Gaming. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's good to have you guys. Happy Sunday fun day and welcome to episode 2 of the Oregon Trail. In the last episode, we started off our long journey and we ended at the springs and this is where we're going to be continuing now. And now we're going to Alcove Springs. Perfect. We might have to... Oh no, everything fit because the fish are gone. Okay, yeah, we're looking good. And... That might be the last river crossing, if not for the rest of the trip for a long while. So 30 miles until springs. I'm going to leave the rations on filling for now. Maybe, oh, what the heck is that? A happy looking dog stands beside the trail, wagging its tail. If the hound is domesticated, there doesn't appear to be anyone around to whom the dog may belong. What should be done? We're going to approach this little dog. Do you see those cute little ears? Who should go? Hmm. You know what? Farmer Bo, go. You go get that little puppy. The dog wags its tail as Farmer Bo approaches, showing no signs of aggression. Oh my god, he's the cutest little thing. Uh, yeah, feed the dog, sure. Take all our food, babe. Five meat. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, look at it, guys. Oh, everyone, everyone's just happy. Morale up. Pet the dog. Absolutely. Don't bite me. Happy wolf. Oh. <laughs> you lost hygiene. Okay, well, you know. It was worth it. Ask where its owner is? Wolf, wolf. Mm-hmm. You know, the dog's bark, unsurprisingly, offers no insight as to where its owners may be. However, the hound doesn't seem too concerned. Farmer Bo isn't quite sure what she expected. Well, that was an awesome interaction, and I think that's it. We leave? That's pretty cool. So he gave us morale. So if you were low on morale, that would be perfect. I wish we could come with us. The dog barks as the party leaves, seemingly saying goodbye. Goodbye, little one. That was cool. Oh. I can't remember the accent I gave him, so he may sound completely different, guys. <laughs> well met, travelers. It's good to see you again so soon. Samuel Pepper waves hello. I've decided to stop my work on the fly machine for now. The general principles are sound, but I believe I will have to wait for the advent of a more powerful engine. Besides which, I have yet to solve the issue of how to safely land. Yeah, that could be a problem. Samuel Pepper nurses his bruised arm. In the meantime, I've begun work on a new invention. Oh no. It's a little more down to earth, I admit, though I believe it will revolutionize travel nonetheless. Let's just encourage him because he's, he's fun. Thank you for your support, friends. It is a comfort to know that you hold the sciences in such high regard. Samuel Pepper looks quite pleased with himself. As I was plumbing in... <laughs> oh. This is the second take because the first one might hurt my throat. As I was plumbing in to the ground, I had a revelation. A vision of wind rushing through my hair. Yes, I shall build a new wagon powered entirely by the wind. Why walk to Oregon when you could sail? Samuel Pepper is overcome with excitement. All I require is a little financial assistance to get me started. Never fear, I'm not about to ask you for your savings. Rather, I believe there are investors at Julesburg who may be interested in funding my project. Perhaps I can spread word to them. Perhaps you can spread word to them. I'd be much obliged for the help. Julesburg, huh? That guy is a trip. I guess we're gonna try and get him an investor? I believe that's a wagon that can be unlocked. It has a sale and it's faster. That you can, uh, if you help him, it'll unlock that and you can buy it at the store. The party comes across a field of lush grass. Perfect for grazing. It's a good place to give the oxen a break. Yeah, why not? I'm in no rush. Let them eat. Let them eat cake. 
The oxen spend several hours grazing slowly, enjoying the meal. They seem refreshed and good-spirited by the time the party is ready to set out. Perfect. We don't want them to die or get sick. They are the only thing we have to get to Oregon. So we're almost at the springs, just a few more miles. A short distance ahead, a freshet of water cascades from a stone outcrop, plummeting several feet into the basin below before settling into a cold, clear pool. That sounds refreshing. We didn't get a broken arm and we didn't get cholera, so we got some stuff. Oh, there's some people we can talk to here. Hey, there's that Ava lady. Uh, what was the guy's name? Douglas? Did you come from Independence too? I met this amazing man there. He was handsome and so kind. I wanted to spend forever with him, but my father won't allow it. He wants me to marry this rich banker to connect our families. Oh, it's that kind of story, eh? All my father ever does is tell me what to do, but I wanted love who I love, not some rich snob. I just can't do it. I'm thinking of running away, going to find his wagon train so we can be together. You have to help me, please. Anything you can lend. I'll find a way to pay you back. You have my word. Oh, interesting. Let's tell her about Douglas. Douglas, that's him. You met him in Independence after I left, you say? Thank you, travelers. I have decided. I will go and be with my love. That's interesting. I wonder if you don't tell her, but you give her something that she still leaves. Oh boy, that's a, that's a lot. 150 food or 50 ballers? What would you guys do? Would you give her anything? Uh... I'm going to go. We're going to give $50. Karma has been good to us. We've been getting some money. Hopefully we don't regret that. Thank you, kind strangers. Perhaps it is fate we met for you to offer me such kindness. I hope we see each other again and I shall introduce you to my beloved. I, I don't think you should just be eloping with a guy you've met very shortly, but, you know. Okay, Frank has a big old exclamation mark. It's a long way before the next place you can safely rest. Enjoy the peace and quiet while you can. Okay. Perhaps you should carve your name into the rocks? My whole party did it just to let the world know we were here. Give it a try. Sure, yeah, well, yeah why not? Let's desecrate the stones. They feel uplifted. I guess that would help with morale, maybe? I think we're maxed on morale, though. Let's see if there's anything good to trade. Alright, I made a few trades. This one wants... We got him down to six bullets for three toolboxes. We'll do it. And that's about all I'm willing to trade. Let's sell some pelts. Because I don't think we're going to need them anymore. He wants to give us five bucks. Let's see if we can get it up to six a piece. Eight a piece. Perfect. That's a cool 24 bucks. We're going to rest one day. And then we're going to head out. I'm going to give the hymn book to Farmer Bo. And Ken Jans is going to get way wayfinding. And there we go. Let's head out. And Fort Kearney. And that's where we're going to end this episode once we reach this. Collect some meat and collect pelts. And we get some coffee and medicine. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's go to the question mark. Oh, we need a hundred pounds. What the oxo? Foot has been crushed under the wheel of the wagon. Toes may be broken. Oxo, we haven't even left. Depending on the extent of his injuries, a good rest may be all he needs. Oh, we don't they do have like a doctor character that you can have on your wagon. Um Blue Dragon, Ken Jans, Farmer Bow, who who has more medical experience? Well, Blue Dragon's a dimwit, not to be rude. Maybe the the farmer let me down before. Farmer... Oh god, Oxo's gonna die. Farmer Bo, you, you've let me down again. Let's, let's rest. Oxo has a broken leg. That's... Oh no. Hold on, um, you see the flies around them? That means they're, they're stinky. Let's get clothes. If, if it goes down, they get 
is it dysentery? And then it starts spreading throughout everyone. So you do not want them to get low on hygiene. Prevent that at all costs. What the hell? Oh no! The wagon's back wheel catches in one of the trail's myriad ruts. It sticks and jams fast. It will move no farther. All together now. Oh no. Uh, let's unpack some stuff. We lighten the load. The wagon rolls free. Whew. We lost a day. Continue. Oh, let me see if I can give poor Oxo something. Uh, his health is high. He's just 47 days with a broken leg. Good gravy. 36. Alright, I'm gonna give you two medicine, but that's that's it. Oh my goodness, Every, now everything's gone to hell. We were doing so good. What happened? Alright, let's repair the wagon. When it's red, that that kicks stuff out. That's why these things fell out of our wagon. There's orange. When it's an orange square, it means it's damaged, but items can still stay there. But you'd want to repair it whenever you got the chance. Oh, now it's raining? Jesus! What happened to our karma? We gave that lady 50 bucks. The clouds give way. And then if our wagon wasn't repaired and we had like an orange square, a hole, the water would get in and destroy your items. The mood is somber. Everyone's pissed. Okay, yeah. Hygiene's low. All right. You know, just a little shower bath. That's fine. Let's click these. Clicking on the animals is like a little mini game. What do we got here? Yeah, let's let's set up camp. This camp, there's different campsites that do different things. Health, stamina, morale. This one is a stamina one. So yeah, let's just set up. We can tell stories and that's how we find out our traits. So let's do that. See all the information coming in? Blue Dragon had zero medicine, so that would have been bad. Oxo had two, but he couldn't help himself. All right, let's go hunting because we need pelts and 100 pounds of meat. Hopefully we'll do a better hunting job. Oh, God, now what? Stop right there. Hand over your money. What? This bitch? Gather all your money on the double and send just one among you to hand it over. No tricks. Only then will I let you pass. What should be done? Lucy? I ain't, what? Ne negotiate. Negotiate or refuse? We have someone with charming. Oh, they don't want charming. Come on, Oxo. Oh, Oxo doesn't look too hot. Oh, he, he did it. Whatever. Oxo faces down the highway woman, cool and composed as if he were wrought in ice, and waxes both eloquent and persuasive. The bandit cannot help but be swayed. Look at you, Oxo. Fine. I did not choose this life, and much as you do not wish to be robbed, I find I do not wish to rob you. Now get, before I change my mind. What a punk. Punch her in the face, Oxo. Oh, everyone's stinky. Oh, the clothes. Oh, now what? A group is hailed by a disheveled looking couple on the side of the trail. A young girl nervously peeks out from behind them. We're not looking too hot either right now. We are some stinky people. Thank all that is good, other travelers. You are the first people we have seen in some time. A sight for sore eyes, indeed. Let's ask what happened. Push on. Eh, screw you. No. It doesn't make for much of a good story, truth be told. Our wagon broke down. We weren't prepared. My husband did the best he could, but he has a broken arm. And without spare parts, we are stuck. Yeah, that, that sucks. We considered leaving the wagon, but... It is just the three of us, me, my husband, and little Mary here. We wouldn't survive this journey with what we have left. We might be able to make it if only we had some more supplies. That's why I was so happy to spot you. 
Please, I beg for your assistance. Who's good at carpentry? Hold on, let's... Do we have anybody that's good at that? We don't know. Two? Don't know. Don't know. Oh, Farmer Bow. Oh, we, we can try and repair it, I guess. Oh, come on, Farmer Bow. You can do this. <gasps> you did it! He did it! Luckily, it doesn't take a skilled carpenter to recognize the problem. Farmer Bo is able to identify. Sweet. The wagon's tongue has cracked. Without its full strength, the oxen could break free. However, it may be possible to fix it with some time and effort. Yeah, we have a spare wheel, but we don't have a tongue. So let's see if Farmer Bo can do it. Come on, Farmer Bo. Mommy, what's that lady doing? Hush, Mary. She's repairing our wagon for us. We should let her work. That's pretty cool. I recognize that that uh, NPC, that person was a, a female and changed the dialogue accordingly. That's really good. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I have the skill to fix it. It's possible the wagon is beyond repair. What? Thank you for trying regardless, kind stranger. We had already prepared to forsake the wagon and attempt to make the crossing without it. But with a small child, the woman's speech trails off. So, Farmer Bo, you couldn't do it? Offer supplies? I feel bad. Oh my god, we're losing all. Last time we gave somebody money, all hell broke loose. Here's some money. That's a hundred bucks we've given to strangers. What the hell? You, you are offering us this much? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm not exaggerating when I say you have saved me and my family's lives. We had thought our journey forsaken. Well, yeah. we are... Indebted to you and your generosity, kind travelers, I imagine you wish to continue your own journey, but I do hope we meet again. I pray we are able to return the favor when we are more able. <sighs> Alright, good luck. Let's... Everyone is so stanky. Okay. What's happening? Don't zoom in like something bad is going to happen. Ugh. Whose stamina is the highest? <laughs> yeah, let's send Blue Dragon this time and see what his shooting level is. Oh, good. Perfect. It's a one. Well. We need 100 pounds of food, Blue Dragon. Make it happen. Come on. With your level one skill. Oh my god. He's so... Oh no. This ain't gonna happen. Oh, there we go. Another one? No! Nope. Oh, dear lord. I need a hundred pounds! Nope. Oh, that was, that was my fault. Blue <laughs> dragon. That was totally me. There's 120. Nope. Nope, nope. Save the bullets. Alright, alright. 120. Let's see how much he can bring back. Please bring back a hundred. Oh, he brought back 120. Perfect. Yes, we need pelts. Great, we got four pelts. I don't think I want to deal with fishing right now. Let's go here. Farmer Bo spies a wounded jackrabbit limping amidst the grass off the trail. Aww. A swift gunshot would put it out of its misery and provide a little food besides. Who should take the shot? Everyone sucks at shooting. I feel whoever shoot is going to miss it. So might as well try Farmer Bo or Oxo so we can see what their shooting level is. But which one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's do Farmer Bo because Oxo is hurt, so his stats might be down. She actually has the highest so far, and she still missed. Well, that poor jackrabbit. Oh, no. The wagon. Now what? Oxo, for the love of everything... Oxo let out an ear-splitting cry and the wagon lurches suddenly. Tripping over a simple stone in the soil, 
Oxo falls and finds himself crushed. Didn't he get crushed the first time? He suffered grievous injuries and needs serious treatment. Oxo, what the hell? Should we stop to treat him and allow him to... Yes. Jesus. Look at him. He only has three health. It would be a good idea to seek further treatment when possible. Oh, Oxo. Hang in there, buddy. We're not even going at a grueling pace. I think like that Axo Grease would help in situations like this. The party comes across a field. Yeah, let's rest. Alright, they're refreshed. Are we refreshed? He has a broken leg and a broken arm. That's incredible. Oh, now what? Wait, please! It's already over. We're barely out of Alcove Springs and we've fallen apart. Please, you must help reunite us. None of us can make it to Oregon alone. Who the hell are you? I am Thomas J. Farnham, but collectively we're known as the Peoria Party. We left from the county of Peoria, intent on blazing a trail straight through Oregon. We organized ourselves as a military would, strict, careful, and disciplined. In this fashion, we adopted the name of the Oregon Dragoons. I love crab dragoons. They are delicious. Mm. Anyway, yeah. I led the troop. The things were going well for a time, a brief time. As you can see, we're nowhere near Oregon, and we've already split. Tensions were simply building beyond repair. Well, you know. Even as a group, we were struggling. I can't imagine any of us will survive for long. Alone? Please, you must help reunite us. None of us can make it to Oregon alone. This is a... Sure, why not? You know. Yes. Thank you, thank you. You'll be well served to take some clothes and medicine with you. If any of the boys are injured, they may require immediate attention on the trail. I don't know if you've seen Oxo, but he's kind of broken. You'll find my boys scattered across the trail at various places. I'll make my way to the Blue Mountains. Please rescue as many of the dragoons as you can on your way there. Okay, so if we see soldiers, we gotta, what, send them his way? Wait, what did it give us? Hold on. We got a dragoon medallion. We can use it to trade. Oh, that's cool. Let's repair that wagon before something bad happens. We're just 27 miles away. A small cluster of reeds near the trail belies the presence of a watery spring. Such a serendipitous find could be a boon for oxo stamina, and drinking from such a source could be positively reinvigorating. Should oxo drink from the spring? Sure, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? He could break his mouth. Everything else is broken. You know what, buddy? Just take it easy, you know? You're not... You don't have the best of luck. Let's not push it. Okay, so that helped Oxo a little. Everyone's stinky again. Kenjans checks the bag of flour, then recoils in disgust. It is, inf it is infested with weevils. God dang weevils! Should the flour be discarded, or should the party keep and eat it regardless. I don't think we should be eating weevils. Once we get to the fort, there's services like barber, doctor. We'll get Oxo some help, stat. I guess we could have picked up the pace a little bit, but I'm worried about him trying to keep up with the strenuous pace. We did it, guys. We made it to the first fort and everyone's alive. We could be looking a little better for Oxo. Entering Fort Kearney. Ahead, a cluster of buildings is laid out in a square about four acres wide, surrounding a copse of cottonwood trees. As the wagon approaches, the sound of lively bustling comes into earshot. All right. You've arrived at the fort. Who would you like to heal, Oxo? <laughs> Heal Oxo, please. 
And there we go, we unlock Sightseer. We'll read that later. And we got all the little challenges. There we go, Fort Kearney. Sweet, look at that. I love that artwork. Your party has reached Fort Kearney. And with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I think that was good. We, we did a pretty good job. In the next one, we'll get Oxo fixed up. We'll see what the store has to offer, do some trades, and then head out for the second late of the journey. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate you all watching. You have a good one. Stay safe. And until next time, bye.